everyone, I'm Betsy. Thanks for joining me again on I Breathe, I DIY. On today's tutorial, we're going to be refinishing this really intricate mirror that I found at a consignment shop here in town. Um, it would, let's get you guys a really good picture of that. Now, on this mirror, it has a lot of chipping in the paint and it has a lot of pitted marks because this was not, um, a really high quality cast uh, to begin with, but it was very inexpensive, so that means we can do anything we want with it. Here's some of the imperfections on the mirror that we're going to attempt to hide rather than make them stand out. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to tape up the mirror and cover the glass with paper and tape. Then we need to lightly sand the surface so that we can paint it. I've chosen a hammered silver color so that it covers all of the imperfections that are already on the surface. Now that it has a nice texture and it's still damp and tacky, I'm applying silver leaf around the edges using the drying tackiness of the paint as my adhesive. Now as this dries and becomes less sticky, I will apply more adhesive. So what we're doing is laying down a piece of silver leaf and brushing it with a very soft brush into all of the crevices so that it is smooth on the surface. Now we're using little pieces because we want to have a molted effect versus a full solid silver leaf effect. Now if you were using a um, if you were doing a smooth piece of furniture you might opt to use full sheets of the silver leaf and apply them in a glass like surface but like we've said this is a textured surface, and we're really going for detail on it, not uh, completely silver leafing. What I'm doing here is I'm applying the silver leaf to all of the high points to give it a nice decorative finish, and then working it gently into all of the crevices using the soft brush. This stuff is super thin and very flaky, and as you can see, I take a piece, I stick it onto the tacky surface, and then I kind of move the sheet around and rip it so I don't end up with the straight edges that are cut out from the uh, squares of the silver leaf. I'm not wanting that effect. Now they do sell um, pieces of gold leaf that looks like somebody kind of crumpled it up and you can get various colors or mixed colors and any of those would work fine for this project too. Like I said, we don't need the full sheets. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and use them because that's what we have on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure and cover the inside edge very well on this mirror because it's a highly reflective, very visible place on the mirror that everyone's going to end up looking. And now I'm applying very purposefully my spray adhesive to the inside edge where I need to continue uh, silver leafing. Now if you'll notice, I'm only spraying it in a few areas and only on the places that I'm planning to do next. While the glue is still tacky, I'm going to apply more silver leaf to the inside edge of the mirror. This stuff can be a little tricky to work with and it is time consuming, but the effect that it gives is uncomparable by any other product that we found. So just take your time and coat as much or as little as you want to. Apply more adhesive anytime that your surface becomes less tacky. For our wash, we've mixed half glaze and half a beautiful blue color to give it some really high drama. And then what we're going to do, I've already done it here and I didn't realize that my uh, camera had turned off, so I apologize. Um, I'd already finished and I had to go back and repaint this for you guys. So I'm showing you here what I did is I coated the entire surface with this mixture of glaze and paint and what that does is it makes it so it remains very liquid so it can be moved around. So we'll paint the entire surface as well as all of the crevices pushing the brush down into the holes and then we'll go through with a clean damp rag and we'll gently wipe the top of the surface off. Now it's a lot easier if you fold your um, rag in half so that you can fold it again to get a clean surface because you're going to want a clean spot to be able to wipe this off. Now as you can see, 
as we wipe off the top surface, the silver shows through, and then in these crevices, we have a wonderfully dramatic blue color. Let all of your paints dry, and then you're ready to hang a beautiful, newly transformed mirror. Now the typical color for a wash like this on the silver is a black or a gray color to make it look very antique, but we believe that this turquoise blue really made our project pop. And you can see all the fine details that weren't really visible before. So we hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Betsy with I Breathe I DIY, and I hope that you'll join us again soon. Find this tutorial and tips and tricks on iBreatheIDIY.com.